previously in beach belts. Tomo, a pointless pillock, inherits a beach resort from his granny, contributes practically nothing to said establishment other than trying to romance its employees. Now, read on. After playing through Beach Bounce and the origins of Paradise Cove, I've been playing through the sequel, Beauty Bounce. Our hero, Tomo, is still in charge of the resort, only this time he has to deal with financial problems. Apparently the resort is heavily in debt to the bank and he needs to negotiate a new repayment schedule with boxing banker Hiromi. Funny how this was never mentioned in the first one. I suppose he was too busy playing Harvey Weinstein with the staff to actually look at the books. In addition, there is a beauty contest at the resort, so if you are wondering whether there is plenty of fan service in this one, I think you have your answer. Anyway, some of the waifus from Beach Bounce are back, with a couple of exceptions. Ray has gone travelling, and Mineko has gone back into education. Presumably she has ambitions beyond working as a chalet girl for the rest of her life, and quite right too. They are replaced by new girl Chiazi, who starts off very shy, but if you follow her route she suddenly stops being shy and enters the beauty contest. And a new guest, Emiko. There's also a harem ending, which is always nice if you're indecisive or just too polite to offend any of the waifus by rejecting them. However, plot twist. The route you take and the waifu you end up with also determines the fate of the resort. Will it carry on as usual, or will the bank foreclose and throw everyone out on the street? Only you can decide. Well, actually it's Hiromi that decides, but you know what I mean. This was rather fun. It's relatively short. You can play through it in an hour or so and a little more to chase the various endings. The art is pretty good and the girls are cute. There's certainly no shortage of fan service. There are cartoon boobs bouncing around all over the place. The beauty pageant includes swimsuit and lingerie sections, so there's plenty to keep you entertained, as well as the usual reward at the end for successfully following each route. It may be a little light in the way of plot and characterization, but it's a lot of fun and a pleasant way to pass a couple of hours. Give it a go. Oh. Mm -hmm.